Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the 3rd of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from trading from leading providers. You can download the app at the www.tradesignal.com, at the Google Play, and the Apple App Store. Okay, so European markets at the moment are in a uh, uh, swoon this morning. Uh, initially, they did gap high on the back of stronger news, obviously, from uh, Germany with regards to the uh, agreement there over immigration. With Mr. Seehofter, if that's his, uh, if, that, if I could pronounce his name correctly, with Merkel and Seehofter. Okay, so the immigration deal certainly uh, uh, obviously uh, signed. Well, not 100% signed, but more or less uh, verbally agreed, and therefore that obviously triggered a gap higher in European equities. Now, that certainly came to a crashing um, uh, close uh, and reversed quite sharply in the back of news regarding Glencore with this regards to a subpoena there. Uh, so, again, that's under investigation. That's certainly hurting the commodity sector. Oil prices certainly are supported temporarily at the moment with regards to the uh, supply concerns regarding Libya, whether or not that's uh, that's something that certainly will have a lasting effect, given the fact that uh, a lot of the other OPEC members are now talking about increased production. Okay. Uh, now, again, uh, concerns still do exist with regards to trade tension. Overnight, we had uh, the yuan dropping again. Uh, Asian markets certainly under pressure as well. Okay. So, uh, having said that, though, US equities certainly have bounced or caught a bounce, whether or not that that lasts, given the fact that we've got concerns regarding Facebook and uh, America's blocking of the uh, China mobile potential entry into the U.S. market on, on the back of security concerns. So national security certainly seems to be coming first in terms of trade protection and tariffs, and that certainly is negative as well. So it certainly seems like there's a, a lot of arguments here to be made for the stock markets certainly to continue their descent. OK, and certainly I'm from what I can see at present, it certainly seems to be the case. OK. In terms of the technical, uh, obviously, uh, outlook, let's have a look here. German DAX obviously building that base and bouncing on the back of that agreement. Immigration concerns obviously uh, certainly seem to have uh, lapsed for now. Whether or not that's sufficient enough to create that, close that gap above at 12,580. Again, uh, it's, uh, given the fact that you've got trade war concerns as well in the back, uh, again, certainly isn't, uh, certainly isn't strong at present, especially with regards to Glencore news breaking as well. At the moment, like I said, we've gapped higher from that 12,240, so we've gapped higher almost by 150 points. Uh, to, from my perspective, that certainly is a potential resistance zone now, and you are looking at a potential reversal, looking to close that gap on the back of, obviously, concerns over trade war, concerns regarding Glencore as well, so bear that in mind. Okay, <clears throat> also in terms of um, concerns over the Chinese yuan and emerging markets as well. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's just see here, again, this is quite an impressive gap higher. Okay, you've closed this gap here above at uh, 3, 5325. The next resistance is uh, 5350 and a hand higher. On the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart, you clearly see that that bounce. Oh, we, we certainly created a, a potential base there around the 5240, and obviously we bounce from there. If you do continue to go higher, then you are looking at resistance now around the 5350, 5360 zone. Okay, then you've got a gap fill at 5390. So watch out for those zones, and you've got a gap fill above as well. Okay, so again, trade war concerns in the background. 10 minute charts, uh, very impressive thrust so far. If you do have an unfilled gap below, though, bear that in mind at 5275. In terms of the FTSE 100, uh, again, you close the gap below at uh, 7545. Obviously, we've bounced ever since. Uh, again, Mr. BOE Saunders has sounded hawkish, and you have concerns regarding Glencore. Those two arguments alone should keep the FTSE 100 at bay. Certainly looking for the FTSE to retest those potential lows there. 60 minute chart as well, looking to potentially retest 7510 below. Potentially even break that on the daily chart, given the bear flag formations that we have, and looking to potentially test 7300. So FTSE, from my perspective, certainly remains very bearish, in a bearish posture. Okay, in terms of uh, Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just see exactly where we stand. We've certainly broken out that symmetrical wedge, so you have to respect that potential thrust for now. Uh, how far that thrust lasts on the back of, obviously, uh, 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 shall we say, uh, trade concerns, or not trade concerns, but concerns of immigration, uh, political uncertainty certainly seems to have uh, ceased, ceased for now. Uh, certainly a reprieve there, and obviously the market's short squeezing at present. You do have resistance in this zone now at 3415. You've got 3420 and 3425 until we get that gap at 3440. So watch out for those resistance zones. You do have that unfilled gap below. So again, any concerns over trade war, any concerns regarding uh, obviously Glencore, which I've highlighted, again, that will have a negative effect and cause that potential gap below at 3375 to certainly close. Okay. I think that's a good summation, really, of European equities. From my perspective, a lot of headwinds there for the markets to get through, uh, especially regarding Glencore, especially regarding oil, especially regarding trade war concerns as well, especially regarding China. So a lot of arguments to be made on the downside. 
On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly uh, download that latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.